good? You good? You good? You good? You good? Once we heard that our local ski resort received a brand new airbag, we had to go sign up for it. Our goal was to land our first ever backflip on skis. But first, you have to warm up. Once we got used to the airbag and were all warmed up, it was time to throw our first backflip with the help of some few motivational words. Full commit, full commit, full commit, full commit, full commit, full commit. Well, you take them off and climb up. There. You've committed before. I have. And before I knew it, it was my turn to go send my first ever backflip. Let's go. Backflip. Ever. <laughs> well, did I trample in a little bunch? Oh, that's sick though. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. You oh, set man. it great. Dude, that was awesome, man. Thanks. All right, now time for James to throw his first ever backflip. Yeah, work on, work on trying to spot that man. Okay. Yeah. Oh! And just like that, the hardest part was over. Now time to perfect the backflip. Nice! James thinks backflips are easy. Time to add some variations. Oh! Yeah, I was not ready to throw in a Christ air quite yet. Let's just do some normal backflips. Look at that, I landed flat that time. That's progression. As if a Christ air backflip wasn't hard enough, James wanted to try something even harder. So he talked to a coach and they suggested he try a barrel roll. So James hiked up to the top, slapped on his skis, and sent a barrel roll. Oh! Not bad for a first try. Good try, James! Oops. Well, I guess that's what an airbag is for. Oh! Right before James could master the Lincoln Loop, our two hours on the airbag were already over. So we headed over to the real snow to throw some actual backflips on actual snow. And I over-rotated just like everyone else who has ever tried to do a backflip on real snow for the first time. It's just so scary, so everyone throws it harder than they should. And it normally winds up like this. That's what I did. At this point, I had no clue that James was hurt. I thought he had just over-rotated like everyone else who has tried their first backflip. You good? You good? You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. Yeah, so James kind of landed on his back, but he should be all right, right? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Let's get out of the way. You all right? I'm gonna try it again. Oh, I'm gonna try it again. And with that, I left James on the side of the trail and went back up the rope toe to try to finally land my first ever backflip on snow and ski away from it. I'm just warming up on the jumps on the way down. All right, let's do it. Time to send another backflip on the snow as hard as concrete. Yes! I did it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I did it! I literally did it! I did it! And with that, I had successfully skied away from my first ever backflip on snow. All that was left was to keep doing it, because practice makes perfect. Dude! Alright, let's see the backflip in third person. Oops, a bit too much speed and a bit too much over rotation. Here we go, last shot. Even though I under rotated a tad, I still skied away from the backflip in glorious third person view. Thanks so much for watching guys.